Hey guys, just wanted to show you guys a cool feature that's possible on the Kia One, which is enabling the mouse cursor, as you can see, and using the keyboard as a trackpad to control it. The instructions to how to do this is in the video description, so have a look at that. It's not too complicated. You're going to have to use um, ADB and download an app and do a few things in that app. So we can control the pointer speed and I'll show you later that it's also possible to change the cursor to be bigger. So what I'm doing is I'm tapping on the keyboard anywhere to um, click on anything on the screen. If I wanted to drag, I double tap and then I move my thumb in the direction that I want to drag towards. I think you guys can probably tell that uh, moving vertically is going to take quite a few more swipes than moving horizontally just because of the size and the orientation of the keyboard. So moving up and down along the screen is a bit more work and I'm hoping to figure out a way to make um to adjust the mouse sensitivity based on the direction so that it's easier to move the mouse up and down so i can tap the currency key to switch between using the keyboard as as um, it normally works which is swiping up and down to move along the page or tapping it again to enable the mouse pointer. So the mouse pointer, when you enable it and disable it, it will be at the position where you left it. So if you, for example, if you only wanted to have the mouse cursor to tap things that are on the really top edge of the screen that you normally can't reach easily you can enable the mouse pointer and just leave it there and just enable it again whenever you want to use it so I'm just showing you now that it also works in landscape and here you can easily see that in certain directions it's not really as sensitive so it's it's not the perfect solution but it's still usable. Just don't expect it to be as good as a trackpad that you see in the legacy BlackBerry devices. This is the app. This is the app that I use to add certain settings to make it work. So you'll have to download the settings database editor app from the Play Store. And I'll just quickly show you guys the two settings that I added. It's not really hard to do this at all. I think anyone should be able to do this fairly easily. So you add these two settings: touch keyboard mode switch enabled and touch keyboard mode switch on currency key which makes my currency key toggle the function so yeah I hope you guys um, give this a shot I think it's a pretty cool feature